Can a Christian marry a Muslim? In Deuteronomy 22, God commanded the Israelites to not plant different crops in the same spot, to not mix wool and linen in the same garment, and to not yoke an ox and ass together. The Apostle Paul, drawing on that ancient command, counseled Christians be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. The Deuteronomic command and the Apostle Paul's application of it are traditionally interpreted as applying to interfaith marriages. In both spiritual declarations, the concern is that these two very different animals, if yoked together, would pull differently, resulting in unequal and unusable furrows. Similarly, many Christian traditions hold that if a Christian yokes with or marries a non-Christian, their relationship and family will be pulled in different directions based on their differing religious beliefs. Interestingly, the Quran expresses a similar concern about an interfaith marriage between a Muslim and a Christian. For example, while both Christianity and Islam believe in Jesus, what those two faiths believe about him is significantly different. Therefore, if both partners are faithful practitioners of their respective traditions, an interfaith marriage would almost certainly pose some serious challenges. In the end, some Christian traditions see marriage as a covenant relationship between God and the two partners, and thus would see an interfaith marriage as problematic. Other Christian denominations, however, may be less dogmatic on the matter and not see this as a major concern. Nevertheless, if Christians intend to make their faith the center of their marriage and the rearing of their children, the challenges posed by a non-Christian partner would need to be considered before entering into an interfaith relationship, both because of their desire for a Christian home and out of respect for the beliefs of their potential partner.